Well, this weekend was all things basketball, so I laced up my sneakers and hit the court to shoot some buckets with a Native American dunk artist on the Flathead Indian Reservation. Through all of the fun, I soon found out he's a leader in his community on and off the court. He's using his life experiences as a tool to help the next generation. 13, 14, 15. At the start of the workouts, everyone just wants that instant satisfaction, but no. When you're training and dunking, it takes lots and lots of time. It took me years just to get to this point I'm at now. Some call him Isaac Fisher, but on the Flathead Indian Reservation. He's known as the dunk master. The way he gets up there, yeah. pretty rowdy. He's young, he's talented, and he's got some hops. When I was first starting out, there was no other big man to do anything with. It was just me. I'm the only tall guy. And how tall are you? 6'10". But making eye contact isn't the only reason people look up to him. Yeah. I think he's really cool, especially coming from a small town like Arlie and doing all this crazy dunks. He's motivating people, motivating kids, motivating me. He's a leader and he's so young right now and he understands um, the issues on our reservation. and and how he was raised and how he's trying to better his life. He's just a really good model for all of our youth here. I'm just gonna help you out and help everybody else out that was like in my shoes, that didn't have that chance, didn't have a nice stable family, like a mom and dad or a stable home. At two years old, Fisher says he was couch hopping with his brothers until his aunt and uncle took them in. Ever since he was with them, it was just basketball, basketball. At 15 years old, Fisher started practicing his dunking skills. After hearing a speech from Native American dunk artist Kenny Dobbs, Fisher decided he could become the next native dunker himself. I'm just trying to be that guy for these kids. You know, to just be that positive influence, that person to look up to and be like, okay, I can strive to do this. He can do it. I can do it. Now, teaching the youth on the Flathead Indian Reservation is his way of paying it forward. You don't really see many native dunkers. These kids really need a, a mentor or a, like a hero or something yeah. here, especially here in the valley. I don't want them falling into the bad stuff like the gang-related stuff or the alcohol. Suicide's pretty heavy on the reservations nowadays, so I just don't want any more kids doing that. From Denver to Spokane and even in the Garden City. Fisher yes. has competed in multiple dunk contests, but it all began at home. Growing up on the reservations, like I know there wasn't a lot of accesses or a lot of trainings and a lot of stuff that does that. So I just kind of want to bring that to the Flathead Indian Reservation and provide that to the kids. If he's not got some dunks, then he's got some kids he's working with. He's, he's always trying to get better and stronger and faster. This is kind of their little uh, home away from home. So many of these kids, they come here and keeps them out of trouble keeps them from doing things that they shouldn't be doing. And Isaac's here um, on certain occasions to teach him. And he's doing a great job. He's an amazing kid. On that last step, really plant it down good. <laughs> Boom. In Arlie, Kiera Sam, MTN yes, News. Yes, just like that. That's right. That's right. That was nice.